Okay, before we start, obviously make sure that you have your FTP settings ready. But if you're looking at this, then you probably already know how to set up an FTP account. So let's get started. The first thing I'm going to do is obviously open Visual Studio Code. On the left side here is extensions. Click on extensions, find FTP-simple and I already have it installed, but basically if you search for it, it will come up with a little install button, just like the recommended uh, extensions here. All you have to do is click install and it should take a few seconds to install. And once the FTP simple is installed, it will be here in your enabled extensions. If you click on it, you can explore some of the settings and options. I'm going to show you the basics anyway. So if you want to do some more complicated stuff, you can come, we can always come back and have a look. And let's hide the extensions now because we won't need this anymore. And the first thing you want to do is press F1 on your keyboard and look for FTP, FTP simple and then just type config and this option should come up on your Visual Studio code and then just hit enter. This will open the FTP simple temp JSON file which is basically the settings for your FTP and as you can see this is uh, this works just like a JSON file uh, if you know uh, how JSON file works you can basically set up basically this allows you to set up multiple websites and the way to do to, to do this it would be basically if this is one website you can literally copy this put comma and set up another website here so this could be one um, website one and this could be website two and so on you can set up multiple websites and have and there is a lot of options that you can do as well uh, in this video I'm only going to set up one and let's start by doing that so for the name you can choose anything so my website is called Ruddy the brand so I'm just going to type Ruddy the brand my host name will be ftp.ruddy.co.uk because that's uh, this website is under this domain name uh, the port I will leave to 21 uh, the username for me would be Ruddy the brand at ruddy.co.uk and obviously I will change uh, I will remove this account later the password for me would be this and then you can actually change the path of where you want the files to be saved if you want them to be saved in the first place uh, but in this case in this case if you leave the path to the default one the actual files won't be saved i think it's just gonna download some temporary files for you but they won't be actually fully downloaded and you can do that by adding a backup option and so on but I'm not going to cover this in here. So let's continue. Uh, we can leave this as default. Auto save, I would suggest you put that to true. So when you hit Control and S, it saves the file. And also you don't want the annoying uh, confirm box popping up every time you save. So I would put this to false and save. Now that we've saved this file, obviously you will see that it's only a temporary file and it's deleted now. Uh, and we don't actually need this anymore, so click X. And then to connect to your website, the first thing you might want to do is go to terminal, open a new ter terminal, and then under output, click on the FTP simple under here, under tasks. Uh, this will show us if we have any errors or if we have managed to connect uh, successfully to the server. To connect to the server, F1, put FTP, that's simple, and then look for the remote directory open to workspace. Select this and then select the website. We only have one here, so we're gonna select Brady the brand. And then it's gonna ask us, which directory do you want to open so I'm just gonna press enter because I want the current directory and this should this usually resets kind of resets Visual Studio code and also you'll see please wait uh, remote info downloading and if you have a bigger website obviously it might take a little bit longer and so on if we close the welcome one and you will see that in my project folder I only have a logo, my index file and the HD access file. 
So if I was to open my index.html file, that's my current website. If we open this in the browser, you will see that my logo is appearing, everything is working fine. Okay, let's change the background color to maybe white. And let's change the color to, the text color to black. Save this, go back to the website. And now if we refresh, you will see that the file was actually uploaded when I hit Control and S and the changes are made. If I was to uh, write something in here, so let's put on hi, save this, go back to the browser F5 and you will see that we get the hi and my logo. So as you can see, this is working quite well. And also you can, you can uh, right click on, your, on any of your files and reveal this in file explorer and you can actually drag files in here let me um let me pick a file from somewhere okay so i've copied another image that i'm going to paste It's basically my twitter uh, logo that and let's now i've pasted the twitter jpeg in here and if i go back and change this to twitter dot uh, JPEG in this case and let's save this go back to the website refresh and you will see that the image was uploaded to the server as well and all I did was open this in the file explorer and just drag the image here the last thing I want to show you is if you open the terminal and look at the output for the FTP simple you will see that uh, We've uploaded the index uh, HTML file a few times and we've actually uploaded the twitter.jpg image. And the last thing that I want to show you here is if you're using, uh, if you're sharing a computer, it might be best to close the connection after you finish your work. And to do this, you can press F1 FTP simple. And what you have to do is just go for the uh, close all FTP connections. Hit that, press enter, and you should see FTP close, and then you're safe to go. So obviously make sure that um, if you explore the, the folder, make sure that you remove your temporary, you remove those temporary files, because as you can see, the HTML is now saved, and this image is also here. Just in case, make sure you remove them if you don't need them. If you're sharing a computer well okay this is everything from this tutorial i hope you learned something um uh, please subscribe to my channel give it a like and comment below if you have any future suggestions as always my name is radi and you're watching my channel radi the brand see you in the next one thank you